Hello, it's Wednesday the 26th. Uh, so I don't really have a plan. Well, nothing surprising. But I do have three uh, legitimate options. Make it four. Uh, number four would be just go anywhere and uh, figure it out for yourself. Number, well, randomly, number three is go to Theodad Real. I don't mind that idea, you know, because I do have all the things there that I like or want and uh, a few friends and it'll be easy. I think uh, once I find a place to stay, it'll be a good choice. Uh, the other one is just simply stay here. Uh, I still expect that the landlord is going to make me an offer, maybe today or tomorrow, to stay, like lower rent and take the better side of the apartment. Uh, so I would accept that if the rent was well, 300 or less, but preferably less. And then there's a girl here uh, that I met online who's got a house, she says, and a room to rent. And uh, that would be my first choice. But I haven't spoken to her since the day before yesterday, and I have so little time. Anyway, uh, yesterday I looked at videos from April and May. And uh, wow, do I ever see something in myself happening there. Um, how confused I am, or how confused I let myself be, or yeah, something like that. And uh, I'm so glad it's over, you know. And you can't believe that she still writes to me. And she lives in this fantasy world, uh, which is connecting singles. And uh, she talks about it like like she goes places, like uh, or she has experiences. But really, she's just sitting her retarded self down in front of a computer, and it's such an old computer that it barely even works because she's so poor she can't even buy fucking. Do you know what I mean? Like underwear. And uh, and she doesn't try to stop it either. You know what I mean? It's not like poor because of bad luck. It's poor because she doesn't work. And um, Man, I tell you, I saw something in myself weird there. I didn't like that. Oof. Uh, anyway, I'm glad it's over, uh, and uh, I'm glad to be starting something. I talked to Osama last night, and, uh, you know, Phil sends him these really super mean uh, emails, you know, and, like, he writes to Osama and says, you know, I'm so glad that you're not around anymore. I'm, I'm glad I never have to see you. I mean, what does that mean, right? And, uh, and of course, what it means to Osama is, I love you and I want you back. And so uh, I presume that is that, that story is just going to be that. I'm never going to go. Uh, he's never going to help me. He's never going to give me a job or anything like that. And he's going to go back and be abused by Phil until, I don't know, maybe Phil's too old to do it anymore.